Hey there, and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick, and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use the function E, also known as Euler's number, or the natural antilog, on the Casio FX 115 ES Plus calculator. To do that, we'll use the Shift key that looks like this, located here, the Alpha key that looks like this, located here, the times 10 to the x key with the alpha function of e that looks like this, located here, the ln or natural log key with the second function of e to the power of that looks like this, located here, and the negative key that looks like this, located here. If we just want to get E on its own in this calculator, what we have to do is press alpha and then the times 10 to the x key here with the alpha function of E. And we see E on our screen. And if we press equals, we see that is equal to 2.71828, etc., which is correct. If we want to get that E with an exponent, what we have to do is press shift ln and we get that e with an exponent box. So if our exponent is 2 plus 3, we can now enter that here, 2 plus 3, and press equals. And see we get e to the power of 2 plus 3 equals 148.41315, etc., which is correct. If we want to get negative exponents, we need to use the negative key. So if we have e to the power of negative 2, we start the same way with shift ln. There we have e with the exponent box. And then we use the negative sign, not the subtraction sign. We use the negative sign here. And then our 2. And press equals. And we see we get e to the power of negative 2 is equal to 0 0.13533, etc. One thing to remember is that if we're using these as part of a larger formula, we need to bring our cursor down out of the exponent box before continuing the formula. So let's say we had e to the power of negative 2 plus 1. Well, to do that, we would do shift ln negative 2, and now if we just hit plus 1, it'll stay in the exponent. But if we use our arrow key to come down, our cursor's down here, and we can do our plus 1, press equals, and now we see we have 1.13533, etc., which would be correct. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.